Video 4. What is compounded return? This chapter is meant to help you understand the effect of compounding on daily leverage certificates. Daily leverage certificates are designed around the daily performance of their underlying asset and as such are intended to be traded on an intraday basis. They apply a fixed level of leverage which makes it easier to determine price movements during a single trading day. This will be three or five times the daily performance of the underlying asset before factoring in costs and fees. When markets open, the performances of the underlying asset and the daily leverage certificates will be measured from the closing levels recorded on the previous trading day. This is because the performances of the underlying asset and the daily leverage certificates are reset at the end of each trading day. What this means, in practice, is the performance of each day is locked in, and any subsequent returns are based on what was achieved the trading day before. This is referred to as compounding. The compounding effect can positively enhance returns in trending markets, upward or downward, while negatively impacting returns when the markets are more volatile or trend sideways for long periods. The effect of this compounding is further amplified as daily returns are leveraged. We will now illustrate how daily longs and daily shorts perform in various market scenarios and demonstrate both the positive and negative effects of compounding. The non-compounded leveraged return we are going to mention is for illustrative purposes only and does not relate to any specific product. The calculation below is before costs and fees are factored in. In the following three illustrations, we assume the investors purchase five times daily long at 2.5 Singapore dollars per unit and the underlying asset closed at a level of 24,000 on the previous trading day. Please be reminded that the figures used in these illustrations are given for purely indicative purposes and have not taken costs and fees into account. Daily Long Trending Up Assuming the market is trending up, the underlying asset's daily performance is 2% for three consecutive days. The underlying asset has increased a total of 6.12% over the three-day period. However, the five times daily long would have increased 33.2%, which is 5.42 times the performance of the index, calculated as 33.2 divided by 6.12. This is because each day the return is applied to a progressively larger amount. If daily compounding was not applied, five times daily long would have only increased by 30.6%, which is 6.12% times five, as the underlying asset is assumed to have an initial constant increase of 6.12%. Daily long, trending down. Assuming the market is trending down, the underlying asset's daily performance is negative 2% for three consecutive days. The underlying asset has fallen a total of 5.88% over the three-day period, but five times daily long has fallen 26.8%, which is only 4.56 times the performance of the index, calculated as 26.8 divided by 5.88. This is because each day, the loss is taken from a progressively smaller amount. For example, on day 1, the 10% loss to 5 times daily long is applied to 2.5 Singapore dollars and creates a 0.25 Singapore dollars loss. However, by day 2, the 10% loss is applied to 2.25 Singapore dollars, creating a loss of 0.225 Singapore dollars. If compounding was not applied, the product would have lost 29.4%, calculated as 5.88% times 5 as the underlying asset is assumed to have an initial constant decrease of 5.88%. Daily Long Volatile Markets The downside of compounded returns comes from volatile markets where prices are changing on an erratic basis from one day to another. The 5 times daily long fell 15% on day 1 and 20% on day 2 before rising by 45% on day 3. The important point to note here is that the 45% rise on day 3 
only takes five times daily loan back to a value of 2.47 Singapore dollars. This is because five times daily loan was only valued at 1.7 Singapore dollars when it began to recover on day three. As such, the 45% gain only amounted to 0.765 Singapore dollars, calculated as 1.7 Singapore dollars times 45%. The overall loss over the three days is 1.2%. There would have been a gain of 7.5%, calculated as 1.5% times 5 without compounding. In this case, the product recorded a loss, even though the product and the underlying asset have moved in the same direction on a daily basis. We now assume the investors purchase 5 times daily short at 2.5 Singapore dollars per unit and the underlying asset closed at a level of 24,000 on the previous trading day. Daily short, trending up. Assuming the market is trending up, the underlying asset's daily performance is 2% for three consecutive days. The underlying asset has increased a total of 6.12% over the three-day period, but five times daily short has fallen 26.8% which is 4.38 times the inverse performance of the index, calculated as 26.8 divided by 6.12. This is because each day, the loss is applied to a progressively smaller amount. If compounding was not applied, five times daily short would have decreased by 30.6%, calculated as 6.12% times five, as the underlying asset is assumed to have an initial constant increase of 6.12%. Daily short, trending down. Assuming the market is trending down, the underlying asset's daily performance is negative 2% for three consecutive days. The underlying asset has fallen a total of 5.88% over the three-day period, but five times daily short has increased 33.2% which is 5.65 times the performance of the index, calculated as 33.2 divided by 5.88. This is because each day, the return is taken from a progressively larger amount. If compounding was not applied, the product would have increased 29.4%, calculated as 5.88% times 5, as the underlying asset is assumed to have an initial constant decrease of 5.88%. Daily short, volatile market. During a volatile market, five times daily short fell 15% on day one and 20% on day two, before rising 45% on day three. The important point to note here is that the 45% rise on day three only takes five times daily short back to a value of 2.47 Singapore dollars. This is because five times daily short was only valued at 1.7 Singapore dollars when it began to recover on day three. As such, the 45% gain only amounted to 0.765 Singapore dollars, calculated as 1.7 Singapore dollars times 45%. The overall loss over the three-day period is 1.2%. There would have been a gain of 12.6%, calculated as 2.52% times 5, without compounding. In this case, the product recorded a loss even though the product and the underlying asset have moved in the same direction on a daily basis. Both of the volatile market scenarios highlighted a key risk of the daily leverage certificates. The more the daily leverage certificates fall, the harder it is for them to recover. This is because any subsequent gain in percentage is applied to a lower value of the daily leverage certificates due to the effect of compounding. This is the reason these products are not designed to be held for long periods. To better understand the compounding effect, we invite you to visit our website, dlc.socgen.com. There is a simulator on our website where you can input the expected daily performance on the underlying asset to see the performance and compounding effect of the DLC for your reference. Please refer to the base listing document and the relevant supplemental listing document for more information at dlc.socgen.com.